morning folks. It's Sunday morning and it's minus something I don't know what out there. And guess what? We're in the van and Moot, where are we off to? Motor crossing. So it was um, minus eight when I got it this morning. Um, but uh, I still think it's a good idea, winter training, go out motor crossing. So, um, Cheddar Motor Park is, they've announced they're open today. So, um, hopefully by the time we get there, it will be um, above freezing, that's what I'm hoping. So, um, so yeah, so you got um, your new TTR125 that you want to try out. So that would be good just to, just to get a few laps on that. Um, and I just want to go motocrossing because I'm a child and I haven't done it for ages. So, um, so yeah, yeah, let's go do it. Yep. And I will also add we were about a half an hour um, late leaving because it was so cold that we couldn't get into the van because it was frozen up. So um, we're going to miss the first session, but um, hopefully by then it should be a little bit more thawed. And Kevin is with us as well today. Um, and he knows that there are sausage and cheese sandwiches for lunch, so he's quite happy as well. So, um, yeah, let's go motocrossing, folks. So here we are at Cheddar Motor Park. As you can see, um, it's already started for the day. Um, where it's thawed it's looking pretty muddy and slippy and where it's not thawed as you can see it's still looking pretty white and pretty frosty so uh, we're gonna go and park up nearby the um, kids track because that's where I'm gonna be riding today and uh, the less distance I've got to uh, ride between the van and the track is better for me um, because as everybody knows, I'm a little bit of a crush test dummy um, this year. So, looking quite busy here in the paddock. People queuing up to go out into the next group. Are you all excited, Steve? I'm too hot already. I think I'm gonna be down to me um, t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> and Kevin, are you happy and excited? Yep, you can see the enthusiasm on Kevin's face there too. Right, so here she is, um, Dory. Um, as everyone knows, I name all of my bikes, normally after cartoon characters or animals. I think Dory is probably more referring to the rider who can be a little bit forgetful at times. So, she's a 2006 Yamaha TTR125. Um, she has just had new tyres, um, and a few bearings fixed thanks to Mike Wheeler of Wheeler's Motorcycles in Whitney so giving him a big shout out um, and apparently I'm going out first so this will be fun it's rather muddy and slippy as you can see here um, the ground has defrosted and there's Steve just revving up the KTM so let's go try the bike out Right, it's Elaine's first trip out on a new bike. It is really, really slippy. It's not actually helping herself by putting both feet out. To be fair, that was the 85 now. Probably got in the power of band or something and fell off it. That's our first little experience, so we'll get some. Um, first log I'm going to have to go over and push it up the hill or something. So we'll tune back in a little bit later to see the progression, see how um, how things improve, hopefully. Well, I've just come in from my first session. Um, to say that I wobbled round on the kids' track would be the understatement of the year. I managed two laps paddling round with my feet, 
as you can see thick mud everywhere and Steve is busy cleaning it off before he goes out but um, I decided that even the kids track was too much for me and went on the peewee track with the little kids on the Auto 65 so just build up my confidence and then who knows by the end of the day I might be back on the kids track um, so next out it's Steve
then got going yeah just it's all right just managed to make it round had another crash only little ones because i just my little legs just dangle and can't touch the ground to save myself well you must have had your crashes out of you because uh, i didn't see any so there are none on video yeah. so i know to change position for the next session <laughs> to hopefully get some moody crashes yeah right see. so leave you to clean the bike off and i better get ready so uh go out for my next session on the peewee track. Right, Elaine's out now on the little peewee track. So I think we just about, just about found a level. Legs aren't dangling about all over the place every single lap now. But I think she's got some stiff competition. By this little fella here. So just hopefully she can keep him at bay and then we'll be happy. But honestly, it's so, so slippy. Although you wouldn't think it looking at those little kids going by. <laughs> Just she'll take any notice of helpful hints from pit lane. Go faster! I think that was constructive criticism and advice. Obviously, it worked. Bless her though, she's doing well just by going around. And managed to pull out a lead from the little fellow again. As you can see, the rest of the kids' track is uh, it's just chaos. People coming off over there. Another poor little lad laid on the floor over there. Well, there's another three of them in trouble. Another one over there. It's just really, really difficult conditions. And here comes Lorenzo, giving it large again. Sorry Elaine, 
I've had to video this. This is Elaine falling off on the way back to the van. So managed to survive the little pee wee track. But <laughs> I can't manage to get back to the van. And to be fair, I've gone down on my ass just trying to walk back. So, um, so yeah. At least you can pick it up. Well, you just got back. So, uh, so how was that? That's good. Yeah, I managed second gear all the <laughs> way round. Um, yeah, it's thick mud out there. I mean, it is the bike's just absolutely clogged up, but it's a really nice bike to ride. Um, it's a lot, lot easier than the YZ85. There's nothing scary about it. And I know people out there will say, oh, well, YZ85 is kids' bike, there's nothing scary about it. But when you're 54 years old, um, it is a little bit scary. It's more scarier than when you're six years old. But it's a cracking little bike and I've had great fun. And I've got to say a massive thanks to Cheddar. Because I was struggling, they let me go out on the Kiwi track and there's not many tracks that will do that. So, um, I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, I know the bike runs, I can do all of that. So, yeah, cool, great. I think I'm going to find a nice cup of coffee. Yeah, well done.
So, Steve, how many times did you fall off in that session? Unfortunately, I didn't get on camera, but you kept vanishing or taking a long time to come round. I think five times. Okay. Do you think we ought to go home? Um, yeah. Because it's not actually that tiring riding round. It's keep picking it up. And it me in. <laughs> right. Let's go home. You can clean the bikes off and I can cook roast dinner. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Okay. What do you reckon, Kev? 